Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem. We're in Foundry VTT and in this video we're going to be looking at an add-on, one we've not looked at before. Uh, so we had a comment from uh, VH on one of the previous videos. Um, frustrated, I suspect, from watching me trying to align my grids for my maps, uh, which works, but it's time consuming. You've more than likely seen that. It does take a bit. Uh, so we've had the recommendation to look at background scalar. Basically, it does that and makes it much, much easier for us. So that's what we're going to look at today. So if I go to my manage my modules, um, I have uh, here it is. So background scalar already set in there. Let's just make sure we've saved that. That's all good. So here's my active modules at the moment. Everything we've looked at previously um, now with that um, background scalar up here added in as well. So let's create ourselves a new scene. Um, we're in our Stormwreck Isle um, scenario. Let's create this. And this is, whoops, we're going to do Thunder Tree next. So let's create that. Uh, and the first thing we want to do, of course, is grab our map, uh, which we don't have uploaded yet. But here it is, if I can remember how to use the alphabet. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Select that file. Okay, let's just save that because, as you know, I prefer to save it and then move over to what we're looking at. So here is Thunder Tree, and we can see first thing I'm going to do actually, just to make your life easier, is I'm going to go to grid and I'm going to change that grid color to a red just so that you can more easily see, and it's still not particularly easy, the foundry grid in red compared to the map grid um, it, behind it. So how does this work? Well, let's find out. Um, let's go to configure, to bring up our thing here. Uh, we normally would be able to go to this grid configuration tool and use this. But we have this little box here, background scalar now. Now, before I do anything, the first thing I want to do is I want to change my pixel size for this. Let's do that. OK, all right, go back to configure. So instead of doing this, um, yeah, this grid configuration, let's go to background scalar and look what it's done. It brings up that grid for us, and makes it much easier for you to see. Now, got a little pop up here that says uh, zoom in a lot to be very accurate with your click. Click a top left corner of a grid square on the image. So we're scrolling as far as we can. I think trying to be really precise with this there and then click the bottom right corner of the same grid square so I'm not picking the red ones this is actually the ones on the map there okay right click to apply this grid um, top left corner of the grid square on the image if you'd like to retry so ignoring the very light ones oh look okay so here it looks perfect over here we miss a line. So I haven't done it particularly well. <laughs> That's not a surprise, is it? Let's try that again. Okay. So again, it's a bit tricky when you're using a slightly blurred image. We try that again. There. It's readjusted it. Um, and again, we're not quite right. So looking at the bottom right corner, you can see that my grid squares are slightly too big. Let's try again. So we can just keep doing this. And I strongly suspect that the, ooh, that one looks good, um, the, um, the clearer the grid lines on the map, um, the easier this is. Now, just scrolling out, that looks pretty much perfect to me. We've got, so immediate top right. It's a big map, this one, which is why I chose it for this. We can see we're slightly aligned. At the top right here, you can see we're slightly align misaligned. And at the top left, we're slightly misaligned. But overall, that's pretty good. And I'm happy to say it's good enough. OK, so it says right click to apply. So I've done that. Um, and that appears to be good. Let's uh, save changes. And we can look into slightly more detail. So the top right here, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, you're not really going to notice if you pop tokens on there. And if we go to the other extreme, so the further we go away from one point to another, we will see how inaccurate it is. Um, and that's pretty good down there as well. So again, let's just drop a, uh, it's going to be Haley. it's always Haley, isn't it? If we drop Haley down here, 
because I've got lighting on. Uh, she's fitting in that grid as good as I could want it to. Let's move her all the way over here. Somebody mentioned about another mod. <laughs> Haley's moving very slowly. There's another mod that somebody suggested that will uh, enable us to set that token speed a bit better. Okay, so when we look up this, I've gone off the map. No wonder she can't see anything. Come on. So on this extreme end of the map, it's close enough, isn't it? So that was, I mean, even though I had to do it a couple of times on this map, it's a big map. Um, so I had to do it a few times just to get it right. It was an awful lot quicker, an awful lot quicker than doing it using the other, uh, the other method. That as you, you know, you watch me scroll in, scroll out, adjust it left, adjust it right. So that is background scaler. Uh, so thank you to VH for that recommendation. That will make our life easier moving forward. It doesn't affect our gameplay. It's purely to help us light, align these things. Anything that saves us time means we can focus on detail of what's happening um, rather than you know some of the basic setup stuff. So really appreciate that. Now one last thing I want to do before I uh, bring this video to a close is I just want to get rid of that grid so uh, I haven't got the red one overlaid. Um, perfect. In the next video, we'll be coming back to Thunder Tree um, and starting to fill this out. Um, but we haven't got to spend time doing this now. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Take care.